What up, guys? It's that time of the month again. That's right. JoJo just came out. If, you know, obviously, fucking, you saw the title. And, goddamn, was this, was this a nice chapter. So, I'm just gonna go into it right away. I think there's quite a few things to talk about, so, yeah. I'm just gonna do that shit. Basically, the main points of interest for this chapter were the conclusion to the Damo fight, and the introduction of Higashikata Kato, and then we got a little bit of Job in there as well, you know, spliced in with both of those things. So I'm just gonna tackle them chronologically. I thought the way this fight went down was just great. I absolutely loved it. You know, I was hyped as a motherfucker after Hato showed her stand at the end of the last chapter, well, the chapter before this, and now in this one we got her walking on uh walking on the roof and damo fucking lighting norisuke on fire and throwing him into the goddamn fireplace like oh my lord i think damo is one of the most brutal motherfuckers ever and norisuke was just getting the brunt of all of it oh my i feel so sorry for him but i thought it was a really cool trick that damo uh, came up with because Norisuke was already uh, under the control, not under the control, under the influence of vitamin C. You know, he was all gooey and stuff. So then when he lit him on fire, the little ashes and stuff that came off of him also had the fingerprints on. So if Hato would have touched that, she would have gone all gooey as well. I thought that was a really interesting use of the stand. But instead of falling for that trick, Hato just decides, I'm going to stab you in the skull through the roof twice and then Damo just fucked off so everyone in the house was pretty much back to normal at that point so then Josuke just went off and did a nice little western standoff that Araki seems to like so much just punched him right in the skull one time Damo's done I I thought this was such a nice little battle I, I've been I've been loving the fights in JoJolian so far. They're either really interesting or really fucking brutal, and both are great. I, I'm a fan of both. Give me both. And then to top it all off at the end of the fight, Josuke proclaims that he is Josefumi Kujo. You know, he's he's sticking with that. So he has he still doesn't really know about his past at all. Damo did mention the Rokakaka to him and uh, Holly and all that stuff, but I mean, he already knew that. He just, he's just not Holly's son, but he kind of is and all that. Damo went into it a little bit that even with the case with uh, Joseph Fumi and Kira, it was, it was, you know, a special case. They didn't know that that was possible. So there was that. And then, right after all that, we got some Jobin driving around in his car, and he seemed irritated at the fact that Damo was just killed by uh, Josuke. Although, it didn't seem like he was right there, you know, it didn't seem like he was watching it, it seemed like he felt it or something, you know? So, does that mean that Jobin is also like a rock person? And that rock people just have this weird, like, connection. You know, maybe maybe that was said in, like, chapters that were, like, months to, like, years ago. And I just have really shitty memory. So you guys can let me know about that. But I found that to be pretty interesting. And then, you know, the chapter's not done. It was a bit of a short chapter. Like, I think it was 32, 33 pages. But we're not done there. Because we then got introduced to Higashikata Kato, who, I mean, I'm pretty damn sure wasn't exactly hiding it, I think, is the wife of Jobin. You know, she just got out of prison, and she was given all her belongings back, got a pretty decent amount of money. I'm not sure the uh, exchange rate, but, I mean, it was in, like, what? six digits not too bad not too bad um what i found interesting though were they showed a little bit of her ability 
And then they also showed her throwing away a wedding ring right at the end. So, are her and Jobin just like Don and Rather just partners in crime now? Is she even like part of the whole crime thing? I, I don't really know. But her ability kind of looked to me like D4C almost. It, it's like a different take on it or something because she took out the cards and she pulled, she like cut the deck and then a phone popped out. So rather than leading to a parallel universe, it's just a little space for her to put things, I guess. Uh, we'll have to wait to find out. But she was talking to Jobin on the phone that she pulled out of the deck of cards. So obviously something's up because she also doesn't want to tell Norisuke yet that she's, you know, done with her sentence. So, yeah. I mean, all we can do at this point is speculate about things, because, I mean, in true Jojolian fashion, some things are answered, but now there's just so many new things that need answered, and it's like, fucking, oh my god, just tell me these things. But I do have a suspicion, you know, I'm growing more and more suspicious of uh, Jobin now. Because, I mean, he was already suspicious before. We got a tiny, tiny glimpse of his ability. But I feel more and more that he may be either just the big baddie of this part or just play an incredibly major role still. Or maybe it's Kato. That'd be, that'd be sweet if it was Kato. She seems kind of interesting. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think, you know? I, I think that's what's really important here, what what the people think, you know? What, what am I, like some kind of politician? Whatever. So, final thoughts. This was a great chapter, if not just a little bit short, but, you know, 30-something pages. A lot of them look like they were uh, a spread of two separate pages. I can deal. I can really deal with that. Um, Hato is badass as fuck, if not a bit of an airhead. Maybe we'll see her be a little bit more badass in the future. At least I hope so. Uh, my hopes for Kato and Jobin are through the roof now. I, I need I need some big baddie action going on already. This is this is already a long part, and it seems like. It seems like we're not gonna end it very soon still. And... Oh yeah. Joshu is okay, I guess. Whatever. I don't know. I don't care much for Joshu. He's kind of a dick. So yeah, guys. Uh, do the commenting and all the other all the other fun things. I don't need to tell you guys things. You've seen, like, how many fucking YouTube videos at this point. I'm just... I'm just saying the same shit. Whatever. Bye.